out here at Magnolia Plantation. Uh, stand, I'm standing in what was once a cattle dipping vat. Some people ask, what on earth, why would you dip a cow? Well, let's go back, uh, not even 100 years, let's go back 50 years ago. We don't have all the commercial uh, veterinary uh, medicines to give to cows and horses and all that kind of stuff. And you have various insects that are bringing all kinds of diseases around, mosquitoes with malaria, you know, the whole nine yards, the whole gamut of bad stuff. And you know, your cows are your livelihood. Out here at Magnolia, when they went from kind of after cotton busted, they kind of went to cattle farming. Cattle was a major enterprise. So oftentimes, I'm guessing around the 1940s, 1950s, they started putting these kind of uh, structures in. And more or less what you're looking at is on a profile here, you got the flat ground, a ramp, something that goes down into the ground like this and straight across all concrete and brick on the sides. Mm -hmm. What they would do is you'd line your cows up, you'd have like a catch pin or some type of a corral system to get the cows through, walk them to the edge of this of this ramp, walk them down into the vat. The vat is filled with uh, with water with uh, like a diluted pesticide or some type of veterinary, you know, some stuff that gets all over them. The cow comes into here and it totally submerges their skin, it gets all over them. And you think back, why you didn't just hose the cow down in the field? Well, you didn't have all that. <laughs> this is what you had to work with. It's a cool place. We're now in the Magnolia Plantation Overseer's house. Um, currently, you look around in here and you have a very empty building. Um, it's done right now kind of on purpose by the Park Service. We're not ready to actually install exhibits and that kind of thing yet. Um, but when you do walk around here, you can kind of get a sense of what this building actually was. So we're calling it the overseer's house now, but when you go back in time and look over the, the archives and all the records pertaining to Magnolia, you'll see that this building was also labeled the hospital. Uh, it would have also been a, a hospital for enslaved workers. Um, later on, it, it was even used as kind of like a, a doctor's office. Um, so we know historically it had that function as well. Now, in keeping with the overseer function, as you walk around, you can notice that we're, we're also centrally located uh, in terms of where this building is on the plantation. You can look around, just to the south of us, you can see the quarters area, just to the uh, north of us, you can see the main house and all the other, the primary features of, of the plantation. And you can also get a good idea of the landscape out here too, just looking behind you, all this land would have been cultivated, so this would have been a great vantage point to see all around you. And as we walk around the building, just to uh, point out a few things like the bousillage, you notice that in some areas the Park Service has chosen to uh, remove the wall coverings and install plexiglass to allow you to see what's inside of here. So in keeping with the park's mission of, of showing the continuity over time, this is what you get. Under all this plaster and all this sheetrock and different layers and layers of historic fabric, at the bottom you find this stuff. And uh, bousillage is real common in Cane River uh, historic structures. It's basically a mixture of mud and Spanish moss put over a wooden framework. And you can see that the bousillage here, in some places, the white part is cracking off. The white is actually whitewash, probably made on the plantation by someone. Uh, made just right here, and it was a, a, a white covering, just to cover the bousillage. And you, you can also see as it falls off, just like historic brick, when you have cement falling off of the historic brick, when you have this whitewash falling off of the mud, it pulls it off too. So it's very important to keep that nice and finished. You have to always have a finish on it or else it's susceptible to the, to the climate, to the weather.